Hey, what's up, you guys? Jason here with 615fishing.com. Make sure to go by the website, sign up on my distribution list, because that's where I'm going to let people know when the site fully launches. And you can go by, check out my eBay store, see what I already have right now. Um, but this is the second saltwater episode from a trip I took last year in August uh, in Destin, Florida. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this trip, um, it was the second day I had been at this pier. So where I stayed, you get in a golf cart, you run down the road, you go out to this pier, it's out behind some restaurants, uh, and you do your best. And it was in August, so the water was plenty warm. It felt like a hot tub, but um, there were fish everywhere. I mean, every time I would cast, I'm literally dragging my bait through hits. It's like up, 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 constantly, just constant. There were schools of croaker. There were schools of a fish. I have no idea what it is. Matter of fact, I think I've mentioned this fish being a mullet multiple times because I had no idea what it was. And I still, to this day, have no idea what it was. So if you know what this fish is, please put it in the comments because uh, I got the feeling I'm going to catch some more in the future. But uh, on, on this day, I also drove around Destin. Uh, I was looking for other spots to fish other than this pier. Uh, I'd heard a lot about the Destin Inlet and this and that. And when I did, I found out that the Air Force had closed down half of the access to the inlet. The other half was hotels and industrial. And I'm thinking, hey, there's nowhere for me to park down there. You've got to be kind of a local or have somebody know where to park and drop you off or whatever. So that was a complete bust for me, but I was in Destin, Florida. So have fun while you can. Uh, San Destin Bay is a really good spot. I've caught really good reds there in the past. Uh, and I may have some footage that I'm going to show uh, later on in kind of a turn back time episode, but it's a good spot. It's a friendly spot. There are other fishermen there, um, you know, learning from each other, helping each other, that kind of thing, having a good time. And uh, so I caught whatever that fish was. I'm not sure if it's a mullet or what. Uh, plenty of croakers. Um, I caught a specific type of catfish, and I, right now it's escaping me, but I think it is... Um, I'll just put it on the screen for you. Um I think I caught what's what's called a scamp, which might be a, a form of a grouper. I could be wrong. Once again, I am not a saltwater fisherman. This was probably the third time I've fished from that pier in my life, and probably the fourth or fifth time I've fished saltwater in my life, so I still don't know what I'm doing. Uh, just taking my bass fishing techniques and trying to apply them to saltwater. But you get the idea. Go out, have fun, uh, throw some some freshwater techniques and try to catch some saltwater fish. I did pretty good on the uh, Berkeley Gulp uh, swimming mullets. I did really good on the New Penny shrimp as well. Both of those items, it was just constant, just constantly getting hits, constantly getting small fish, croakers, and whatever that fish was, the long skinny fish with kind of a green back. Um, those baits did really well. This was also my first time using a sabiki rig, and I was kind of shocked. I wasn't expecting the sabiki rig to work that well. I mean, literally almost every time I put the sabiki rig in the water, I had a bait fish. And I was constantly taking those bait fish, putting them on that 7 aught hook, on a Carolina rig and tossing it out there, hoping to get something a little bit bigger. Anyway, it was a good time fishing at this pier and I hope to do some more saltwater fishing in the near future. Uh, hopefully from the beach, I'd really like to do some beach, beach fishing. Haven't done that since I was probably 12 years old, something like that. So I'm really excited to do some beach fishing in the future. So if you have tips on beach fishing, hit me up, let me know. I've been watching YouTube videos and whatnot, getting prepared for it. Um, so let me know you saltwater fishermen out there. I'm sure you're laughing at me, but, uh, this is what happens when you know nothing about saltwater and you go out there and, and do your best. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And here's the footage.
So this is where I tried using the Sabiki rig. I think this was my very first time literally throwing the Sabiki rig. And it's real shallow right here, maybe four or five feet, something like that. But it works. So the ongoing theory here, including my part one video, is that I would try to catch some small bait fish, either with the sabiki rig or with the, you know, the gulp shrimp or the uh, swimming mullet, and then use those fish on a larger hook for a larger rig and try to get a little bit larger game fish. There's my seven aught hook. And this is just a bass hook. This isn't even like a circle hook. This is just a regular old wide gap bass hook. So I'll take that rig. And this is the one that's got the Carolina rig on it and I'll cast that Carolina rig out as far as I can get to deep water. And there's a hole out there in between that yacht and that pylon out there. And that's what I was shooting for. So then I just get the line tight and turn the drag all the way down and let it sit. Wait and see what happens. Of course, while that's sitting, you might as well try to catch a fish. So I did just that. This is a medium rod, 4,000 reel, probably 20 pound braid on there with like an eight pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. Got a little, maybe quarter ounce jig head on there. And I'm dragging that new penny shrimp. Oh, and you, you see that works. Crap but it's this fish I kept calling a mullet. And you swallowed it too, ding dong. And this fish is kind of long and skinny. And it's got really sharp front teeth. Um, so you can't really stick your thumb in there. Yeah. And it's got kind of a, pliers are over here. kind of a green back to it. They were everywhere. So here, I'm using that same jig head, but I have switched to the Berkeley Gulp Swimming Mullet. You just let it drop to the bottom and then slow roll it across the bottom, just like you would do if you were throwing a swim bait in fresh water. And it works, it works really good. Fish after fish. Another mullet. These guys eat their own people. It's crazy. Crazy mullet. You crazy mullet. Oh, and you croak like a croaker too. I'm beginning to think that is all that's out here is just mullet and croaker. If 
if it weren't for that bull red that I saw coming through. It's kind of sad. Let's see if I get another mullet. Gotta be kidding me. I'm assuming that's what these are. These mullets. Got him. He's got some. They don't like their struggle till right when you grab them. something different finally that's a good fish oh we got off oh my gosh I uh, can't even take a picture with him it looked like a small pompano but I'm not positive I am not setting the hook hard enough for these saltwater fish gosh well at least I know I want to cast out that direction that's for sure Now at this point, I had decided it was time to start throwing a spoon out here. I don't even know what this is. This is what I was thinking was a scamp, but I have no idea. Looks like some type of drum. I don't think that's a little scamp. Maybe, who knows? If you know what this fish is, comment. Maybe. He's got a mouthful of hooks though. I have no idea what this is. Anybody know what this is? Comment. Uh, looks like a drum of some t sort, but he's tiger sp or leopard spotted. Not sure what's going on there. Let's get him loose and get him out of here. His face is pretty toe up. Stop, 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 stop. I can help you here. There's one, there's two. You helped me. Thank you very much. Let's get you out of here. There you go, buddy. Woo! He left some funk on there.
No idea what that fish was, but got him on the spoon. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that again. That was pretty cool. First fish other than croaker and mullet that I've had in a while. And that was with the uh, jerk jerk pause method. So I went to pick up my big rig and I was just going to bring it in for the day. I was done, ready to go have a beer. And as I pulled it in, something hit. I had to tighten up my drag and start fighting a fish. It was a welcome fight because it was the best fight I'd had all day. Got something good this time. I don't even know what it is. Catfish, dadgummit. Dadgum catfish. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay. I don't even want this guy. Catfish. They've got spines that can poke you. I've heard oh, from a couple of people that the saltwater catfish actually has uh, poison in its spines or something. I don't know. Either way, I knew I didn't want to touch it. Sucker's ugly. Ugly, ugly. I messed up my croaker. What do you think? That's an ugly catfish. I'm not touching you, buddy, so I hope you're... Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't want to touch you. Because you're fugly. Stop it. All right. So since then, I have read some articles that say, you know, catching saltwater catfish is about the same as catching freshwater catfish. It's if you're looking for a fight, they eat cut bait. Um, and you can also eat them. Uh, there's links to several people that do like catching cooks with the catfish and they say it tastes like catfish. So just because it's a saltwater catfish doesn't mean you can't eat it. I've also read that Yes, they have spines and they'll poke you just like a freshwater catfish, but it's not the spines really that get you. It's the, it's the slime on the fish uh, that carries a mild toxin in it. So it has the potential to hurt worse and hang with you longer than a freshwater catfish would. Go. So if you get spined by one of these guys, it's going to hurt. Fly free. And that was pretty much it for this day. It was a good, hot, hot, hot water, hot air temperature, sunny day. Got good tanning that day as well. Met a couple of people on the pier, uh, caught a bunch of fish, had a good time. It was a good trip overall with the family. Did some golf pond fishing as well. Um, but yeah, it was a good trip. Don't forget, we are giving away uh, a prize pack. Check one of the previous episodes so you can find out what the prize pack is up to date. Uh, and I might be adding something in it in the next episode. Uh, but the prize pack is going out to as a drawing once I reach 100 subscribers. I think I'm somewhere around 30-ish right now, something like that. So tell your friends I'm going to post more fishing content uh, every Wednesday. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe, ring the bell so you know when I post more content. And we will see you next time on 615 Fishing.